Are you ready to start this? Cortez, Franklin Rado, and Dewey are going to be involved in this one. It has been a very, very wet morning. I just went to get some food for the puppies. And also some grass for the goats. Boys and girls, I got you some grass. Oh, look at you, you're all wet. Ladies first. Come here, babies. I got you some grass. Hey, Dodge. I got you some grass over here, come on. So you may be wondering, why are you getting grass for the goats? If you have a whole land full of grass, you can just take them out, they will eat the grass there. That's gonna be it. But this year, for some reason, Mother Nature decided to give us a lot of rain in the dry season. With these conditions, with this weather, if I were a goat, I wouldn't like to be outside being wet, cold, and we had some lightning with a little thunder earlier, so we don't want the goats to be exposed to that. And we decided to go and buy a little bit of grass for them so they can be inside of an airframe as comfy as we can be inside of our houses, for example, in my house, my tree house, Kake in the bus, and Kaylee and Jordan in the workshop. The sad part is that we are not gonna be able to work today so we're gonna have to wait until tomorrow to see if this weather gets better and if it doesn't we're gonna have to work outside even if it's raining so we finally got some sunshine baby there it is and it means that we can finally continue doing more progress in the building of my house So this is the time now. We are gonna start putting the footers in the holes. We have some of them already there. It's the time! It's the time, baby! We have those structures ready. We have eight of them. We need 12. These guys are helping us to build the rest. And we're gonna be doing this today. You didn't even get us, bro. We were all dancing. Come on, come on. Do, do it again, do it again. One more time. No, Kake got in there. 6.97 meters. 6.97 meters. Wow, what? Oh, uh, yeah, the inside. All right. <laughs> oh my god. All right. And everything that we do now with the levels. It's gonna determine how it's gonna look the house. How high it's gonna be, how perfect level is it gonna be. And we want it to be perfect, right, Jod? Always perfect, bro. How about now? Right there, baby. Okay. Fishing. Okay, bro. Like this. I can't say it. Oh, I can't say it. What happened last night? No, no, no. I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna say. No, 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 no. <laughs> Why? But what's the problem? What's the... This. All right, nice and rectangle. But I mean, I mean, square like <laughs> nine, 90. I'm just kidding. So I'm using the only thing I learned in elementary school, and that is Pythagorean's theorem to make sure this is square. Right there. No, four. Oh, I feel happy because there I did not. Hey, perfecto. Got it. Tie Tied down. Interesting. 3.06. You have a big brain. Six. Six, Six brains? Brain. No, no, no. Six meters. Okay. Kake. Yeah. What time do you think? Nothing. Right there? Nothing. But that night, Sarah was like. This is the shot that's going to get to your girlfriend. 
Just right, right, it? Yeah. Oh. And you just remember it was all me, baby. I think maybe she didn't know I'm if it was supposed to be true or not, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but I, I wasn't talking about. Well, I, I, I already was a badass. I know. This one, this one is. Where was it? Six. Whoa! Daddy. It's gonna be right here. It's gonna be my house. That's where your living room is gonna be. No, this is gonna be where all the morning movement is gonna happen. Oh, perfect. Just right in this corner, right here. Perfect. So all the poop's gone. Yeah. And all the cooking is gonna be on the other side. So. All right. You just like go across the kitchen, Take you know, look. and then you go and eat more. Knows all about <laughs> so right here is where I have been cooking my breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But that was until a little time ago. I made a deal with Adriana and Kake, and Adriana is going to be cooking for us, for Kake, me, and Iberto and his brother for, for a pretty long time until I get my kitchen. Uh, it was a good deal, a very, very good deal. So Adriana, I know you're going to be watching this. Thank you so much. Boys and girls! I have been practicing that call with them since I started taking care of them. And they are starting to respond to it. Every time that I say that, they just like turn their head and start looking for who is saying that. Good girl. Good girl. He thinks licking is better. <laughs> Right, so now the next step is try to level or little great. And we're gonna use some rocks to level that thing. And it needs to be lift five centimeters above of the ground. Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost the hope. Alright, so that may be it for the day. We didn't even get a whole piece inside of a hole. But it's part of the way, I mean, it's, it's part of the process. We are learning uh, to do the footers now and uh, we, didn't, we don't really have that much experience doing footers. First of all, because uh, when the workshop was built, the footers that these guys built um, they were pretty small, they were very, very simple. But for my house, I want this thing to be very strong. And something that happened with the workshop was at one time we were checking, we saw that it was bending in the middle. Our conclusion was that it was because the footers were not strong enough. I don't want this thing to have some vibration at all. I want this thing to be very, very solid. And when the wind comes, nothing is gonna happen. I'm not gonna even feel it. I may hear it because of the roof but not feel the wind.
think the monkeys are back. I just hear something in the branches. Yes, it's a monkey. He's a monkey. He's right over me. Wow, they are back. No way. Wow, it's the whole family. There is the other one. That's a baby. That's a baby monkey. <gasps> Another baby. Dude, this is the best way to start the day. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Holy cow, this is a monkey's crew. Whenever you start wondering why I am living in a tree house in the jungle, well, there is your answer. <laughs> Alright, the monkeys are gone now and it's time to get back to work. No vamos! We have the base in place at excellent level, we have the column in place in its own level. We've mixed up a bunch of cement, and now Rodrigo's gonna dump the very first wheelbarrow of Whee! cement for his house. Go for that, bro! Try to hit that line. And the plan for today is continue building these footers. We have that one there, it's almost on, it just needs um, some more concrete in the base. Houston, we got a problem. The problem is that these holes are not centered. This is the level that it should have. The level goes all the way down. And here, to this point, is a level. But, if you see, that's not the middle, that's not the center of the hole. We are going to have to dig a little bit more to that side and to that side in order to place the platform in the middle. First, first. Remember we talked about that? And rocks. Yep, wait. Right, pause. I forgot something. Our plan is to build first of four footers in the corners. It means that one there, this one here, that one there, and the other in the other corner. If we do that, if we do that, it's gonna be easier for us to keep the line, to keep the level, and to keep the distance from one footer to another. So I'll have to do it again. We have been struggling with the rain since we started this building here. And Jordan has the idea to build a tarp house so we can continue working even if it is raining. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna use this piece of Cariola and another one in the other corner, something there and something there to build like a tarp house. Well, it's basically a tarp house. Are you the man of the delivery? I got some gravel, you want some? Yeah, I need right, some. You gotta shovel it all out though. <laughs> Leveling these things is pretty tedious. The good thing is that there is a new toy that you arrived to the land. What's up Dutch? You excited man? And it is a cement mixer. Bro, this thing is gonna save us a lot of time. A lot of time. As long as we can get it done, man. <laughs> you did it, bro. Crushed it, bro. We'll see you get into the tarps now. Our little, our, your, your, new, your new temporary home, bro. <laughs> You can move out of the tree house and move underneath the tree. It's bigger, but it's not as comfy. This beautiful and orange machine is gonna save us a lot of time and work. I think we have no idea how to use it, so Jordan is reading the manuals. This thing is working! No, Jordan is gonna pour a bag of cement. Finish the mix. We got sand, we got gravel, and now we're gonna put the cement. 
We have almost all the concrete inside of the hole and we need to level the concrete because if you see most of it is just resting in one of the sides and we need it to be even. It's all nice and level. We're just getting ready now for start working in the third footer. We already have the little grate and the column in the place. And now I'm start making some quick sub yard. Hi mom! <laughs> It's time to go to my favorite part of the whole process. It's a very weird feeling, but it's addictive. Now we got three footers. The base of the footers done. It's time to start working in the fourth one. This one right here that we just ran out but we just ran out of sand and we still have a little bit of gravel but we need to bring more sand <laughs> What's better than a fist bump? Yum, yum, this yum, this yum. is much better than a fist bump. <laughs> <laughs> you did it, Guys, bro. Thank you. There. Dude. Thanks for you. building me a house. <laughs> <laughs> Helping you. <laughs> so you're, you're doing a lot of the hard work, too. Yeah, you're doing like 70% of the work. Oh, no. no. <laughs> We're three. We're splitting. Yeah. So it's like. Sure. This I'm more 60. like 15%. <laughs> but that 15% matters. Is the one that matters you have to count the emotional support, honey. Yeah. There's two, there's two of us helping. It's not just me, so. <laughs> I just remembered how fun it is working with cement. Dude, it's, it's a little bit tedious, but you get a lot of fun. And you get more fun once you have a concrete mixer. That's the best part. Well, guys, so far, we got four of the footers in the place. Four of them. A nice pillow here. This is where I'm gonna say bye to you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching this journey. Thanks for supporting my channel. Thanks for supporting my dreams. So thank you guys. You are the best. You are the best. Thank you. Thank you so much. See you next weekend. Oh.